I sometimes feel worried about you, Nigel Farage. Uh, the, the reason I feel worried is because I, I know a lot of people are frightened in our country. I know a lot of people are feeling afraid and frustrated. And there is a sense that there is a corrupt, corrupt group in our country using our resources, taking away our jobs, taking away our housing, not paying taxes, exploiting us. And there is. There is an economic elite that this man's party is funded by, that this man is the back, comes from background working in the city. Let me tell you something. There was an economic crash and a lot of money was lost. His mates in the city farted. Nigel Farage is pointing at immigrants and the disabled and holding his nose. Immigrants are not causing the economic problems and suffering we experience. As any of us, I enjoy seeing Nigel Farage in a boozer with a pint and a fag laughing off his latest scandals about breastfeeding or whatever. I enjoy it. But this man is not a cartoon character. He ain't Del Boy. He ain't Arthur Daly. He is a pound shop Enoch Powell. And we gotta watch him. Well, that's, all, that's, all, um, that's all well and good, and you've got your point of view. The question was, is Britain overcrowded? And, and, and uh, do you think I'm wrong? I mean, do you, I mean, do you, do you yes. not think... Nigel, do you, can okay. I not be do wrong not here, think, mate? I do think you not wrong. Think, I do you not from think, the kind of well, community. This is called question time, this programme, right? And well, what tonight happens, you can have another And, what, and what happens is, <laughs> members of the audience ask questions, and we're expected to answer them. You haven't answered this lady's question. Do you think Britain's overcrowded and there is a strain on public resources and people's quality of life? We need more money for public resources. Well, where's it going to come from? Not overcrowded. It's going to come... Oh, I'm so glad you asked, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Since the financial crash, banker bonuses have exceeded oh. £80 billion. Pounds. George Osborne, <laughs> your Chancellor, campaigned to stop caps being placed on banker bonuses. At the same time, there all, were austerity cuts against the poorest among us, the disabled, people that we need to be looking after. We need to close tax loopholes, which are exploited by big corporations. There's money. I've got money now. I've seen rich people. There's plenty of money out there. It's just not being distributed. <laughs> Please stay the place.